Are you gonna help me set up my classroom? Yes, I know. So, uh, some life updates. This year, I will be our team lead for second grade. Me and another teacher, were doing it together. So I'm taking on a leadership position this year, which is really cool. I'm super excited for that. Um, what else? Hmm. I'm staying in the same grade, same school, just a little bit more things to do, I guess. So that's exciting. So this will be day one of classroom setup. I am feeling excited for my third year of teaching. I'm feeling hopeful that this year will be better than last year. I can be more consistent on YouTube and I can just, I'm not new to the area. I'm not new to the school. So I have that advantage because last year was really hard when you like just move somewhere and you have to start fresh. So that's kind of hard. So this year is a little bit better because I'm not new. I know the school. I can kind of know what to look forward to. So that's very exciting for me. I feel comfortable. I am a creature of habit and I like to be in a stable place. And I feel like the most, like the most stable when I know what to expect. I'm technically not reporting back until Wednesday, but because I'm not new, I get to set up my classroom a little bit earlier. It's still, these two days are technically still my summer break. So I get to go and set up my classroom. So I'm gonna go, let's get ready to go. Can I take a tall um, salted caramel cold brew? Sure. Um, and that'll be it for me. You have the biggest dog I have ever seen in my entire life. He is so cute. Is he a great day? Oh my God, so cute. In my room, oh my gosh, I'm so hot from carrying all that stuff in for my car. It is like 105 degrees already outside. Um, but as you can see, the previous teacher left up some stuff. Honestly, I'm just kind of going to use it as a guide um, to put like wallpaper on top because this is pretty similar to how I had my bulletin boards last year. Um, so I'm going to use what she gave me. So I'm definitely going to put like the border paper on top of that. But right now, my room is just kind of like basic. And the first thing that I always do when I set up my classroom is I just put the furniture where I want everything to go. So I think I'm just gonna play around with the layout. I kind of just want the same layout as last year. So I'm just gonna move the furniture around and play with the desks and see what, um, where I want everything. I kind of came in a couple of days ago. I came in like a couple weeks ago and just kind of looked and saw. And then I planned out my classroom at home. And so I pretty much have a solid plan of what I want everything to look like, where I want everything to go. So let's do it. So I ended up grabbing the rest of my things from the storage in our school. So basically, it's just a big old mess. <laughs> but I do have the desk put. Okay, so I pretty much have my room set up to how it's pretty much going to be. The desk situation might change a little bit, but for the most part, they're in groups of five because we're maxed out at 25 kids in our class. I like to do groups at the beginning of the school year and pretty much all school year because one, I have a tiny classroom, my classroom is really small, and two, um, I just think it helps them socialize better in the beginning, like get to know each other. Um, and then I also like to do some type of, I think I'm going to do like a type of like table team point system, I think this year. Last year we did have table names, but I didn't give out like points or anything. 
this year, I'm thinking I might do like table, table sports or something. We'll see. All right, I'm just gonna put the, the boxes from storage just kind of in the general areas of where the items are supposed to go. And then I think I'm gonna focus on like putting my bulletin boards up just because like, I feel like once I have that up, everything else is like a lot easier. So I brought a step letter from home and I'm going to do that. So my second thing that I do when I set up my classroom, I set up my wall situation. So I have two bulletin boards in the front and then two in the back and pretty much going to utilize what's already here. I'm just gonna put my background paper, my wallpaper on top of what's already here. So yeah, I pretty much have the same setup as last year. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So this is my desk area. I like to have my desk back there with my kidney table because I like to have everything in one spot. So that's that. My bulletin boards are back here. This will be my library. Um, like student center is right here. I have this mailbox for like take home things, etc. Um, lots of storage that I actually bought this year off of a teammate. This will be like my morning area. So I'll have my, my calendar and stuff right here. Um, and then I have this teacher cart station where I can put stuff for like the front of the room. So when I'm teaching at the front of the room, like I'll have a cart set up for me in the front. And then I have my stuff in the back. And then the desks are laid out. I'll probably put classroom jobs on that bulletin board and we'll make it work. Something exciting that I got this school year is I got this little stool from Hobby Lobby. I don't know if y'all remember, but uh, remember when I did my uh, prep vlog? It, it had to have been like last year. I got this wooden rocking chair and I like spray painted it and all that stuff. Last year, I barely sat in that rocking chair. I think I maybe sat in it like four or five times. So hopefully this stool will be a lot better like as a teacher's seat because it's high enough where like if i'm doing a read aloud like the kids can see the book but it's also just like not a rocking chair and also the rocking chair broke so i forgot to add that so that's why i'm not doing a rocking chair this year i think i'm gonna try this too and i'll let you guys know how i like it Lots of starting and stopping and talking, which is fine. But I was hoping to get way more done. This fine. We're checking through. I'm drinking out of my 40 ounce. So I did not want to buy the Stanley Cup one. So I bought this one off Amazon for $30. It's a 40 ounce and it works just as fine. Um, so yeah, I'll link that cup if y'all want a Stanley Cup dupe. It works just as good as a Stanley Cup one. And I think it's honestly cute too. Anyways, I'm tired already, already. I think I've been working on my classroom for maybe like, I got here at 8.30. So maybe 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, three hours and I'm already exhausted. Exhausted, I'm tired. That's okay. probably a terrible angle but I need to take a break from stapling stuff to the wall so let me guys sh let me show you our the border that I got this angle is probably awful um, but I got a new border for my little bulletin boards so it looks like this it's this cute little fringe kind of thing. It is very cute. I think it's looking pretty cute so far. The only thing that I don't like about it is that they shine. 
in the light. And um, I just hate that they're like shiny. I didn't realize that until I started putting them up that they were like shiny like that. So I could try to matte spray them. The only issue is that they're already stapled to the wall. <laughs> and I don't want to unstaple them. So maybe I could find like some type of matte paint to brush on it or something like a clear matte paint. I just don't want the room to stink. Ugh. So that's my issue because the room will stink. It will smell like straight up paint. So I have to figure that situation out. But yeah, it's coming together. Super cute. ready reading is kind of ready i'm going to get more of those wicker placemats so i bought those wicker placemats from hobby lobby and i thought it would be really fun to make it like kind of like boho themed like a wooden natural theme and i like it but i just don't have enough of it so i have to go buy more and luckily they're on sale right now i also got that little stool thing from hobby lobby it's like a wooden like a wicker stool i got my desk area set up so that's it for today i'm gonna go home and shower because i'm so sweaty from moving all this furniture um and i'll catch up with you guys on classroom setup day two don't you love it when the starbucks barista gives you a compliment it is the best good morning happy tuesday we are at hobby lobby right now um, I have to get some more um, little those wicker basket things. They look really cute, but I don't. Ha I didn't have enough to make it look how I wanted it to look. So I'm at Hobby Lobby to pick up some more of those little things, um, and then just to see what I can see before I go in. It is about nine o'clock, and I'm going to find some cool stuff. Um, after this, I'm going to go to school and um, work on my classroom. So I'll talk to you guys when I get there. Okay, so I am in my classroom and I wanted to show you guys what I got from Hobby Lobby because they have the deals right now. If you're not doing anything, go to Hobby Lobby today. They've got like a lot of spring boho decor, like 66% off. So let me show you what they got. I had to get some more of these little placemats to put above my bulletin boards. Um, these were like two dollars a piece um so yeah this is what i originally went into the store for i also got this super cute little book holder it's like adorable originally it was sixty dollars and i got it for twenty dollars which is like a steal i feel like then i also got this basket for the pillows in my library. It was $60 originally and I got it for $20. So that's my Hobby Lobby haul. Um, run, don't walk to Hobby Lobby. You get some really cute stuff. So yeah. Okay, so this is my planner. Um, this is a happy planner. This is where I write most of my to-do lists. I got this one from Michaels. It's so cute. It's actually not a teacher planner and I'm okay with that because it just has everything I need. It has the month spread and then it has little notes for each day and then it has like a week spread. So errands, um, to-do lists, calls, emails, stuff like that, and then it has little spaces to write. So for my to-do list, I put blog, which I'm doing, put letters on bulletin boards, do my library, and organize my desk. So I'm only putting like three things on my to-do list, just to be honestly realistic with myself. I know for a fact that I cannot get more than three things done because I'm starting and stopping and talking to people and stuff like that. So uh yeah i think i'm gonna 
so that's why i had a pretty short to-do list so for right now i think i'm going to finish doing the bulletin boards and then i'm going to work on my library afterwards today is thursday i've not talked to you all in a couple of days well it's been one day so yesterday was my first contract day and it was full of meetings so i really did not have time to work on my room or vlog or really do anything so today is thursday i have a lot more time to work on my room i'm excited to be back at work the last time i talked to you guys i was working on the bulletin boards so i pretty much have them done they're pretty much done so i'm gonna show you guys what I did, the library is coming together. Um, one thing that I wanted to say and kind of point out is that a lot of people put a lot of emphasis on classroom library and although classroom library is very important, obviously, um, you don't have to have your library organized to like a T. You don't have to do that. Um, I've set up, this is my third time setting up library and honestly both times i have not had time to sit there and go through all the books and organize them by color and level or anything honestly just having the books is the most important you provide your students with support in reading books that are at their level already like i do a lot of decodables and things like that for my low readers my library is a place where my students can just pick up books and you know figure out what they like it's not all that organized. I think I do have the chapter books and like the higher level books put in a specific place. And if I see a child with the chapter book, I don't, I like don't let them read that if I know that that's not their level. But for the most part, it's just kind of a free for all. Um, and I'm mostly like a type A teacher, but 
regarding my library I'm really tight B I just kind of let them pick and so don't feel bad if your library is not meticulously organized maybe one day I'll organize my library but as of right now I just don't have the time to and I know it's not gonna stay that way and so maybe in the future I will but you know put your books out and just let them pick for themselves what they want to read and what they want to read what they want to read in like the genres and things like that so anyways that's my little spiel about library because I was feeling some type of way because my co-worker her library is very organized and I was like well, that's not me you know it's just not me and that's okay so let me show you guys some updates around the room very first update I got this super cute microwave from Amazon used for like 90 bucks I'm so excited it looks super cute very retro I love it working on my library it is not all the way done it's this is gonna be like a little center area for centers and stuff like that um, and then my library is right here I still have some books to put out in this bin lots of books to put out and then I kind of want to put something here I think I want to do lights or something not sure yet but that has to go up and my mirror still has to go up And here will be like student books, book bags and supplies. So that's here. And then my We Are Authors writing in phonics bulletin boards. And then I've got my morning meeting area underway. And then I'm gonna put class jobs over there.